Hey everybody! Welcome to tonight's Big Brother 24 chat. Oh hi! Hello. It's episode 23 of season 24. Oh my goodness, we're almost at the golden episode. <gasps> Love it. <laughs> and tomorrow's gonna be a doozy. Let's just say that. But anyway, last time, Turner won HOH, mm -hmm. and he kind of like, um, blew things up because he decided to go against the Leftovers yeah. Alliance and put Brittany and Taylor up on the block without warning them beforehand. They didn't know about the other alliance from out in the yard. The after party, yeah. Uh, Turner decided he's going to stick with the after party, and he made this big move. Um, but of course... Mm -hmm. His true goal this week is to backdoor Michael. But when Turner did his nominations, he made up a little story, kind of. Well, he twisted an existing story because yeah. Turner said that Taylor was trying to get a final three together with Brittany and Joseph. And that's not quite true. But we did see... That Joseph did betray Taylor before he left. He told yeah. everybody over at Direfest that Taylor was trying to propose a final four with, with her, him, Brittany, Michael, and, and Michael. Brittany. Yeah, yeah, Brittany and Michael. So that part uh, was real. But Turner right. did not want to include Michael in that because he didn't want to tip Michael off. That, that he's, he's in trouble. He's the backdoor in target. Trouble. Um, I think Michael can put the pieces together there. Well, <laughs> he's very smart. We don't want to give him any additional help. Right. I mean, you don't want to make it, like, blatantly obvious. Right. But anyway, yeah, that caused a lot of confusion because Brittany and Taylor were both like, there was never any discussion about a final three with the two of us and Joseph. Like, this is made up. It's not true. Well, they were both upset, but Taylor was super upset because yeah. she's in kind of a fake showman. Possibly real after the show. Yeah. <laughs> with Joseph. Yeah. And so she, this cuts really deep. It does because she didn't think that he would ever do anything like yeah. this. And even though Turner did twist the story, it's Joseph, so pretty did, true. Joseph did betray her before he left. Yeah. Ooh. You know who's happy? Kyle. Because the target's off of him now because he was at the bottom of the cesspool. Kyle's all, oh, my game's in a great place right now. I've got my after party. I've got my Alyssa. Just you wait. Yep. All right. So Turner and Taylor have a chat and she's like, I don't get it. There was no final three thing. It was a final four. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's being honest about it. Like, yeah. that was discussed. Um, she just can't get over the fact that Joseph betrayed her. I felt really bad for Taylor. Do you think this is going to affect their relationship outside of the house? I think that this is something that they can overcome. Especially when Taylor learns, like, the circumstances of what happened out at Dire Fest. Mm -hmm. Like, Joseph was really... Between a rock and a hard place, you know, his back was up against the wall. Yeah, he was just trying to do anything to stay in the game. Yeah, I mean, he was trying to throw anything out there that he could, but... Right. All right, well, Michael, he has a feeling that he's going to be the backdoor target. His spidey senses correct. are... His lawyer <laughs> senses are tingling. And they were correct. Yes, that's right. I mean, Turner puts up Michael's two closest allies, and Michael's the best competitor out of the three, like... He can put the pieces together I mean, here. He knows. Is it as difficult as a six-piece uh, puzzle? <laughs> Caitlin Herman puzzle? Caitlin Herman? It might be below that. I don't know. I think, it, I think it's it just might be a, a three-piece piece puzzle. Three I think piece? it's a three-piece. Okay. Well, I, I could see that. I You just can't F up a three-piece. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, the after party is buying some insurance here. They want to pull in another number. Not really a full member of their alliance, but they want to get Would Monty... Would you say it's a faux member? <laughs> yeah. They want to pull in Monty a bit, so just in case he wins HOH next week... They're coming. Yeah. They don't want Monty to target them. They don't want to walk around with their asses uncovered, so they're pulling in Monty. All right. Um, Kyle tells Monty in a little meeting... That he was the one who outed the Leftovers Alliance, not Joseph. And Monty's ah. face during this whole conversation was like, yeah. Why did he think it was a good idea to tell him that? 
Well, again, he's still telling like half truths here because yes, Kyle was the first one to out the Leftovers Alliance, but he mm-hmm. made it sound like Terrence was like prying at him, right. like asking him all these questions. When Kyle was just like walking up to Terrence and saying, "Um, uh, guess what? I was in this left this leftovers alliance. This is who's all in it. These are all the game yeah. moves that we made since Terrence the Mirror's eviction." Did not have to pull any teeth to get this out of yeah. Kyle. Kyle was freaking ready to spill. Mm-hmm. Ready to spill. So I guess that's a theme with him. Uh. Ew! No! <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, Monty uh, is not feeling great hearing Would about you? this. No, I mean, in a way, at least he's like, oh, it wasn't Joseph. Like, yay. Yeah, but great, at the same but time, gone. yeah, Monty's also like, I cannot trust Kyle. Mm-hmm. I cannot trust Turner. Right. I have to win this veto and Otherwise, make sure I'm going to be safe. Who knows? Yeah, who knows what could happen? Mm-hmm. So, Michael and Kyle have a chat, and this is also very telling this to is Michael. Awkward. Because Kyle is acting. Very goofy, like, very awkward, (laughs) yeah. And something's different. Something's different about Kyle. I wonder what it is. All right. Again, just another clue to Michael, like, oh, I'm in danger this week. I'm in trouble. All right. Um, Michael and Brittany, they are starting to... They're scheming. Scheme, yes, because they know this is a very dangerous week for them. They're in a precarious position. Mm -hmm. They want to try and get through this week with the two of them and Taylor still there. You know, they'd love to have Monty stay as well because they feel like he can be a number for them. Monty Mm -hmm. is basically in the middle right now. Yeah. So they're trying to think, like, how can we pull this off? Obviously, somebody's going to need to win the power veto, right? Mm -hmm. And ideally... Brittany would love for that to be Michael because then he could also be safe and pull her down. Right. So then they're but like... But they're also thinking, who should we get to go up on the block exactly. as a replacement? And how are we going to make it happen? Right. So they're like, mm, you know how, like, Kyle said all that racist stuff, like, starting a few weeks ago about how all of the people of color were going to end up working together because of the cookout last season and they all have, like, these unifying goals and bonds... Um, and Kyle was saying, basically, like, let's get all of the White House guests together Mm -hmm. to go up against them. And the receipts are in the episode. It's true he didn't say, let's get all of the White House guests. He named all of the White House guests. I mean, if you can put the three-piece puzzle together. Come on. You come up with the same answer. Come on. Yeah. So, Michael and Brittany, at the same time are trying to not look like jerks because... They withheld this information for weeks. They sat on it. They've been sitting on this info for weeks, and now, oh, they find themselves in this position, and they're deciding to bring out this information now. Convenient timing there. So they're trying to play it off like, oh, this is bigger than the game, which it is. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Yeah. But they're trying to play it off like it's weighing heavily on our hearts and we're just going to have to spill this info. But let's be real. It's a game move. Even though this is bigger than the game and it should be discussed and brought up, um, this was a game move for them. I'm torn Absolutely. on this. As, you know, should they have said something earlier? Probably. Would it have jeopardized their uh, position and other people in their alliance? Is in the game this is you know yes it would have this is where it gets hairy because they were all like oh we were protecting kyle Kyle before but Mm -hmm. now we're not gonna protect him anymore but like you're saying they kept this info because they didn't want to hurt their own games because right or or anybody in their alliance right i mean if they brought this info in earlier it was gonna blow up their leftovers alliance and they Mm -hmm. were gonna lose numbers but that's not okay. Like, they should have I mean, brought now, this up. Now that the, the Leftovers time. Alliance is blown up, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. But I'm just so. saying, like, that's bad. <laughs> like, yeah. they shouldn't be saying, oh, this was weighing on us, blah, blah, blah. If no. it was, like, you would have brought it up immediately. Yeah. So just, like, call it what it is. It's a game move. You're using this information for game. Yeah. So don't be, like, all, oh my God. I'm done. I can't keep this secret one second longer. Yeah. No. All right. So it's time to uh, pick players for the veto. 
Okay. So yeah, they're just going to sit on that information and wait and see what happens with this veto. All right. So Turner picks first and, oh, I couldn't wait to get my hand in that bag. Oh, it's Alyssa. Oh. Right? Yeah. He likes her. That's okay. <laughs> and then, uh. All right. Next up, Taylor. Oh, what does Taylor get? It's Monty, and oh, she wanted Monty. Monty to play because she asked Monty, like, would you use the veto on me? And he said, yes. How convenient. Well, I mean, for Monty, it's smart, right? Because mm -hmm. he's playing the middle. So if he uses the veto on Taylor, she's going to be happy with him. And at the same time, the after party will be happy with him right. because then Michael goes up on the block. And let's face it, Monty wants Michael to go. Well... Brittany is crapping a brick right now because she is the ninth inning, final hope, two outs, yeah, full count for Michael to get to play in the veto competition. It's down to Michael, Kyle, or Terrence at this point. Pretty much the only way Michael will be saved from going up on the block is if he wins the veto. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Michael! Ah! Oh, my gosh. Yes. So they were very excited for that. Yes. All right. Everybody else, not as much. <laughs> no. Kyle went. Um. Yeah. Well, it's time to get right into that veto comp because there's a lot of stuff to discuss after it. Oh, my gosh. Who's on the monitor? It's not Miss Julie Chen Moonves. It's none other than the one and only Billy Eichner. I love Billy Eichner so and much. And his friends, Luke McFarlane. Yeah. Wow. And co-star. And co-star. It reminds me of like when you go to a fancy movie and they have the people who are in the movie in the beginning welcome you to watching the movie. Thank you for coming to the movies. Yeah. We had a great time making this movie, and we hope you have a great time watching it. I know it. I'm a sucker, but that's just goes such a long way for me. I love it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but yeah, this was fun. Um, Billy Eichner is just like, he's amazing. He's a tre He's an American treasure. I'm so happy for how his career has taken off, but also I just miss Billy on the street. I know. It was so good. He should have gone out in a hazmat suit. Billy, in, <laughs> Billy on the COVID street. No. <laughs> got to keep him safe, protect all right. him at all costs. Well, the house guests got to see a very sexy and exciting trailer for the Bros movie. Yes. And this movie is a long time coming. It's a gay rom-com. Yes. I love it. It's cool, too, because I thought, um, like, all of the lead actors are... Actually gay? Like, in the LGBT... Okay community yeah so that's great that's amazing we love it yes we, representation is everything yes so this is very exciting and they made it a point multiple times to say that this movie was produced by judd apatow mm -hmm. um they tied in like all of his movies like train wreck and 40 year old virgin like all those right. they had like the posters everywhere mm -hmm. all right but you left out the very important the winner of the veto Gets to see a sneak preview. Yeah, they get to see, well, the full movie. The full movie. Yeah, but I'm saying it, yeah. it's like. Private screening. A private screening. Of the movie with three of their best friends. Wow! Out of the eight that are in the. That's so exciting, <laughs> well, though. out of the seven. Why seven? Because one is guaranteed. So out of the seven. Oh, so four will be going out of eight. So half right. the house guests. Right. Yeah. Ah, oh, wonderful. Yeah. I so, really want to see this movie. They go out into the backyard. and It's, it's a this, classic. It's a slip and slide competition. Ah! Usually they reserve this for an HOH competition because I guess it's just too long to have for a veto. You don't see a lot of endurance POVs. No. But I guess it fit with the theme of the movie, kind of. And well, because they brought like a whole date night thing into this comp and they were supposed to be transporting... Mm -hmm. Rosé. <laughs> or Bros Rosé. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this competition was called Pride Slide. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. And uh, yeah, and you had to go back and forth, fill up your at the rom container. At the rom-com fest in the backyard. Right, right, right. right. All the movie posters. Oh my up. God. Fire up your Nora Ephron movies at rom-com fest. <laughs> so you know the, the drill. You got to fill up the container with the liquid. Mm -hmm. They got a little wine glass. They have a smaller container, uh, which you can choose or not choose to go for, to get a larger 
like wine tumbler wine tumbler yes but it was more like a whole bottle of wine size mm. so only um taylor and Brittany turner and Brittany. only turner and Brittany <laughs> decided to go for the uh smaller container mm -hmm. and turner ended up uh getting the larger tumbler yeah i mean this competition really came down to michael versus turner Mm -hmm. Michael was just consistently going for that larger container the whole time, keeping up his pace. And, of course, there were some spills and thrills throughout this competition. Call the injury attorney. We've got some <laughs> slip and falls over here. Yeah. Uh, Turner, they tried to edit it to make it seem like it was actually close like between Turner, Turner catch up to Michael. and Michael, but it wasn't close at all. <laughs> it was not close. It was not close Michael at all. Michael was way ahead. At the beginning, he was deciding whether or not yeah, he, he was, was going like to go. Yeah, he was like up the cup. <laughs> yeah, to see like, oh. Is um, it worth it? And he said like no. This is two and a half times this and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. If he had, you know, if Turner didn't have to fill up that whole thing. You know, if he could just have started uh, where the small one was and, and like... Yeah, but, but didn't. that's not how it works. Let yeah. that be a lesson to you. If you go on the show in the future and they do this competition... Don't go for the small thing. Just You're go for the big one. You're probably not going to make it. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I mean, it also doesn't help Turner that Michael is a cop beast. Like, and, maybe if it was Michael's somebody else. And Michael's like 100 feet tall, too. Yeah, so. I think it really is an advantage to be tall in this competition. Yeah. I mean, he's practically got, like, clown feet. He's so tall. <laughs> I just mean, like, the legs. You have such a... Oh, sorry. The legs, <laughs> the feet are more, you know... Yeah, you, you got more have a longer stride. area on there. Longer stride. He's probably a little bit heavier than him, too. Maybe uh -huh. not. I don't know. No idea. But anyway... But Michael won the veto. Wow. That was a clutch win. Congrats to so him. So Turner has to switch gears now, and he's got to come up with a replacement. And that means somebody from his alliance yeah i also just want to mention like i believe this is michael's fifth veto win uh -huh. and i believe that ties the record with uh janelle janelle casey like wow. it's a big deal it's a good it's a good thing yeah so he turner is thinking oh maybe i should put up monty okay so like it i'm gonna be honest it was an absolute shitstorm of activity like after the veto mm-hmm <sighs> Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but let's talk about the movie first, because they did this out of order. They did this out of order, and I'm pretty sure that's because they didn't want the movie segment promotion to the, be mixed with right. what was happening later. Right. They didn't want to go from, like, uh, to, ah, ha, 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 to, uh. Yeah, because the rest of the episode after that. It's pretty much a downer. Pretty, well, not a downer, but it was serious, as yeah, it should serious. be. I mean, it wasn't light. Right, 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 right. And comedic. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about the movie premiere. Michael got to pick three house guests to join he him. He said, Turner, Alyssa, and Taylor, mm -hmm. come on up to the HO, come up to your HOH room, Turner. <laughs> and there will be an obscene amount of junk food in there. Hell yeah. We might all have to get in bed together. Remember which when looks they used extremely to extremely like, uncomfortable? They used to set up the movie theater. Yes. Chairs in there. What's up with that? No. Couldn't they put the recliners in there? I wonder whose living room those uh, those movie chairs are in now that they're know. not available for the show anymore. I don't know. But they had a great time. Everybody loved it. The movie Bi looks amazing. Billy Eichner's funny as hell. So yeah. like, and he was a co-writer on the movie too. Yeah. If you haven't seen... Uh, Difficult People! You have oh, to see it. That show is just genius. I always refer to it as horrible people. <laughs> it's just so good. It's very good. Okay. It's on Hulu if you're interested. Yes. All right. Anyway. How many seasons? Like five? Two. That's it? <laughs> it's like either so two or three. More. It's either two or three. I can't remember. It, it might like be three. so much more. It's something for everybody. Yeah. But not for the kids. <laughs> All right, now it's time to get serious. Okay. Michael and Brittany, their backs are up against the wall. So this actually happened, like we said, before the movie screening. The movie screening happened on Sunday night, but Michael and Brittany mm -hmm. decided they were going to start their conversations about Kyle on Sunday morning. So mm -hmm. if you noticed when Michael went to choose like who was going to join him for the reward... Kyle was sitting alone like the cheese. And he looked Under pissed. his blanket. Yeah. He was just like... 
It was bad. Yeah. So Michael and Brittany, they're going on their Kyle tour. Mm -hmm. They're starting off with Monty and Taylor first. Which I think was a smart choice. Right. Because they want to make sure that Monty and Taylor are okay with them even talking about all of this stuff with the rest of the house. Mm -hmm. Right. Because if you don't know, Kyle was talking about having a an alliance in the house separated by race mm-hmm. to go after the other side the people of color of the house right and this was all based on him assuming with no evidence to back it up that Monty Taylor and Joseph were all super tight within the leftovers mm-hmm. And then they were going to pull in Indy, Jasmine, Jasmine Terrence. Terrence. Yes. I feel like I'm missing one more person. Joseph? I already said Joseph. Oh. I don't know. But, no. I guess it was six. Okay. So, yeah. Kyle was like, we have to break that up. We can't have that. He's calling back to the cookout from last season saying, like, look what happened there. So, it's very... Icky? Disgusting? Yeah. I mean, there's been so much evidence to point to the people of color not Not all uniting. Yeah. Yeah. They're targeting each other. Right. Like, what? But Kyle just has it set in his mind that that is what's happening. And what makes it even worse is that this was brought to his attention multiple times Mm -hmm. by Michael and Brittany. But Kyle... Just kept going along with this narrative that he created in his head. I think it was mostly Brittany that yeah, he would be pitching to... this to all the time. Well, no, he he mentioned it to Michael quite a few times too, and the both of them together as well. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Michael and Brittany are saying uh, it all started during Michael's HOH. Kyle talked about having the racially split alliance uh to go against people of color and taylor and monty were deflated i felt so bad they were disappointed they were a little bit surprised that this is amongst them and i think they were a lot surprised to hear this well yeah a lot um and monty is thinking that's not the kyle that i know so like the pound is done yeah, I mean... He's not going to be working with him anymore, can't obviously. can't work with Kyle moving forward. He can't trust Kyle. No. And Taylor was talking about how it really sucks that Kyle, his fear of all of the people of color uniting was bigger than what they were building together as the Leftovers. He mm-hmm. had a solid alliance with yeah. the Leftovers. And, and they were really doing well. They were. <laughs> Which is what... I don't get it. Yeah. All right, so... Then Michael and well, Brittany. Well, I just want to say, too, yeah. Michael and Brittany were asking, like, is it okay if we talk about this with people? Mm-hmm. Like, we kind of want to Kyle out of here, and I want to talk to Turner about it. And mm-hmm. Monty and Taylor basically told them, like, that's for you to talk to Turner about. Like, we're not going to do but that. But they pretty much give their blessing. Right, but they're saying, like, you can, you can do that. Yeah, right. Which is the right thing. Yeah. All right, so Michael and Brittany then take aside Alyssa. Mm -hmm. This was before Turner, I guess. Yeah. And she is confused. Well, also, they were spilling a lot of information to Alyssa, telling her all these things that Kyle was saying behind her back this whole time. All these times that Kyle was considering, like, taking Alyssa out and all this stuff. So she's getting hit with a lot of info. And then they also, they get into Kyle's cookout 2.0 theory. And she's like... Mm, I don't want any part of this. Yeah, pretty much everybody that they talked to was just like, I don't want to be associated Associated, with this. Like, I don't want to be involved in this. Yeah. All right. So then Michael and uh, Turner have a chat. Brittany joins later on. Mm -hmm. Turner is pretty much shell-shocked. He is, but it was interesting because Turner was still kind of like, wow, that's really messed up, but like, what do you think about me still taking out Taylor this week? And Michael was like, I'm not going to really be happy unless right. Kyle leaves this week. Mm-hmm. Just my opinion. So Turner is now like, I guess I have to like put Kyle up on the block. But at the same time, he's as much as he's saying he will put Kyle up, he's still like, but is Taylor still the target? 
No. So it was interesting. So Monty tells Terrence. Mm hmm. Because I guess uh, Brittany. She said she was planning on talking to Terrence while the other house guests were at the movie screening. Right. But other things went down during yeah. the movie screening, which we're going to be seeing. Yes. I think in the next episode. Right. So Terrence also, same thing. He makes it a point to say, like, we're all targeting each other. Like, why would we be putting each other up on the block? Yeah. Doesn't make sense. And then Alyssa is laying in bed, like... Well, Kyle shows up, and he's noticing, like, people are getting pulled into rooms to chat. Like, nobody's talking to him. what's going on, Alyssa? And she says, oh, nothing. They're just um, saying that you wanted to have a a white alliance. (laughs) And he's like, what? I never said that. Dude, we saw the receipts. We know it. He freaks out. He denies it. He's like, I never made this about race. Ugh, you did, though. You definitely did. Did you not know they were filming you when you said all those things? (laughs) Yeah, so it was bad. Um, Yeah. So then he goes upstairs to try and talk to Turner, Michael, and Brittany while they're they're in the HOH room. But they're like, no, give us a few minutes. (laughs) Yeah. And then... He goes into the di- into the diary room because mm-hmm. he was actually saying to Alyssa like, if that's what they're pitching, that I'm making this a race thing. I gotta quit. I'm gonna leave. Yeah. So because this is my life. This isn't just a game. This is gonna be more far reaching the effects than playing a game. Probably like should have considered that before. <laughs> All right. It um... just it's like upsetting because. That's, like, the first thing he's talking about. Like, this is going to ruin my life. But, like... Yeah. You know, I'm not... I feel like I'm not expressing myself correctly here. Okay. Like, he's upset about what's going to happen to him now, but, like, he's not acknowledging that he said... That he did wrong. Those things. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, they showed, like, a really raw diary room session... When Kyle went in there and he was like, I need to talk to you about something. Mm-hmm. Um, He's yeah. crying and... The end of this episode... Took his microphone off. And... Was a much different tone than what we mm-hmm. usually see. I mean, even the announcer The announcer was took it down quiet. a few notches. Yeah. yeah. They didn't do the POV ceremony because there's so much more to come before that ceremony. It had to be... Delayed until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, So we're going to be seeing a huge house meeting that was not shown on the feeds. Right. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be very heavy. And Michael tells Turner, if you were to put up Kyle, wouldn't suck. Yeah. I mean, Michael is making sure to be like, hey, we're not just like sharing this information to share it. It's not game. It's not game. but But it is. It is. But if you want to, you know, put Kyle up, that's cool. So. I mean, how do you feel about that? About them using it as game? Um, okay. So, like, I'm glad that this information came to light. I'm glad that they finally shared it. But I think we need to call a spade a spade. And it was game. Like, they used it for game. And that Mm -hmm. is very sketchy. And I think they will be facing repercussions for that as well. Like, even their own house guests are kind of like, why were they sitting on this for so long? Yeah. So, it was definitely not cool. I mean... But I'm glad that they brought it up finally. It's hard to um, out somebody when it's that big information. Mm-hmm. And you're afraid maybe I didn't hear this person right, or maybe... But the uh, but thing is... But he did is, say it so many times. He said it so many times, but also, this... They did not receive any new information on this mm-hmm. between, like, before... Right. Dyerfest and Brochella. Right. So, like, there was no new information between when they split up and now. Right. So they were just, like, sitting on this. They could have easily told... Mm-hmm. Taylor and Monty about this during the split week. Mm-hmm. You know, they 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 were u- waiting for the most but opportune do you, moment do you think to pull this out of their back pockets. Afraid of a don't shoot the messenger type situation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sure that factored in, but yeah. oops, our file was too large. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that did factor in, 
but they did not, Mm -hmm. like, that doesn't make it right. Right. To wait that long. It's just so complicated on so many different It is a very, very complex situation. Yeah. It's not, like, cut and dried, you know, like... When real life comes into the game like this, it is very complicated. It is, it's messy. Mm Mm-hmm. So tomorrow is going to be a very, I feel like, very emotional I already teared up just when they were doing the announcements at the end for tomorrow's episode. I was like, oh my god, this is going to be intense. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be intense. It's going to, it's probably going to piss some people off. It's probably going to make some people feel better. I... I don't know what to expect really completely mm-hmm. yet, but we'll have to wait till tomorrow and see how they handle yeah. the after effects of all of the information coming out. I am very curious to see how they're going to put this uh, episode together. So, yeah, we shall see. But And somebody's going home, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no denying it now, right? I mean... Yeah, well... Unless Jesus himself comes down from the clouds and says, Kyle, you're safe, I... I think it's pretty safe to say that he's gonna go home yeah so leave your thoughts on this episode in the comments because i know you got lots of them yeah I <laughs> please mean, though like be respectful because there has been a lot of, of not disrespect. cool stuff yeah. happening in the comment section in the live chat section like it's please be respectful yeah i know everybody's got different opinions but be respectful of everyone's opinion because everyone's entitled to have an opinion yeah So, thank you all so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow. And until then, much much love. love.